Welcome back, Tom Friedman, joining us from the Kennels Film Society. Great to have you back on the show. Great to be here, Susan. Yes, great to have you. <laughs> uh, latest installment of the Kamloops Film Society's Fall Film Series, tomorrow night, screening at the Paramount at 7 yeah. o'clock. It's called Loving Vincent, and it's all yeah. about Vincent van Gogh. It is, and this is truly a unique film. It was filmed in live action with some really excellent actors. And then what they decided to do is to take the Van Gogh style of art, the Impressionism, and they took 65,000 frames of live action and painted them in the Van Gogh style. So what you see, and you'll see from the trailer, is this incredible animation that's based on Van Gogh's vision of the world. And uh, this film's a Polish-UK um, co-production. The directors have spent seven years working on this film. That's how long it took to that's, put all of these images together. That's how long, how long it took. And how many artists? There are 40 artists worked on these frames yeah. over that seven that's year crazy. period. That's a lot of commitment. So it creates a mood that's very much in keeping with the Van Gogh uh, view of the world, mm -hmm. but it's also a um, detective uh, story. Uh, how did Van Gogh actually die? Mm -hmm. He died of a gunshot wound. He claimed in real life that uh, he had shot himself, but there's a lot of suspicion that he was covering up for someone. Interesting. And the film explores the, the possibilities of, you know, how Van Gogh actually died. Right, no definitive answer as to how he died, but no. exploring what some of the options could have been on what happened. Exactly. Shall yeah. we look at the trailer? Yes. Okay, let's take a look. Vincent Van Gogh killed himself. How does a man go from calm to suicidal in six weeks? Vincent left this letter. Theo van Gogh. That's Vincent's brother, isn't it? I don't see the point in delivering a dead man's letter. So? If you had died and there was a letter out there that you had sent to me, I'd want it. So, what brings you to Orver? I want to do something for Vincent. You're not going to stir things up again, are you? We've had quite enough weeping over that nutcase. His neighbours... ..and the police... Get out of there! ..and the whole town... <laughs> ..against an ill man! Vincent, what have you done? We all knew something was very wrong. Vincent! It's like art come to life, Tom. Yeah, it is. And when you look at some of those images, they are Van Gogh mm -hmm. oh, uh, very paintings. Much so. The yeah. Starry Night and the cafe yes. terrace and the bridge. And what obviously the filmmakers have done is created a whole world that's based on the Van Gogh imagery. Yes, and there's some one. great actors here. Chris O'Dowd, mm -hmm. uh, Circe Ronan, the Irish actor who was nominated for uh, an Academy Award for Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. She plays the woman. Um, and the two characters who explore what happened to Van Gogh are actually um, portrait subjects of Van Gogh. Is that the right? postmaster and his son. Mm -hmm. And they take on this, this uh, search for what the real story is. Is that true to real life, though? No, no, no. That, that this is fictional. that part is fictional. Yeah, yeah, yeah very cool. And uh, there's been a lot of speculation about Van Gogh. Um, they call him a mad genius, but this film really portrays him as a very sensitive, mm -hmm. loving person. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why the title "Love Vincent," particularly in a relationship with his brother Theo. And uh, there's a famous letter that um, Van, uh, Van Gogh sends to his brother before his death. Mm -hmm. And that really sparks this interesting investigation. Yes, this is a great uh, and different film being uh, screened as a part of the film series. It looks fantastic. Yeah, sure. uh, we are out of time. Uh, if you're interested in seeing this, it's gonna be a great one, seven o'clock tomorrow night at the Paramount. Right. Uh, tickets at Movie Mart, in person or online, CanWaltzFilmSeries.ca. Tom? Right. Thank you for being well, here. Well, thank you, Susan. Yeah. Quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.